See? Leave the thinking to me, Toko. I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. I, I see. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. I need to get a clear shot. That was easy. Get mixed. Damn. Yeah, they they didn't. They bodied you. Hold up real quick. Let me move this. Let me get some Gatorade. Oh, okay, and we back. Well, we're done. Not the bag. Watch out. We're good. Oh, we already got batteries. Told you, man, we just gotta go find a little light, and we good. Damn, y'all got mucked up. And we out of here. See? Leader thinking to me, Toko. Another challenge. If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. And when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats. Kablooey! New technology can sure be sketchy at times, huh? What the hell does that mean? Find the kid without getting caught. Oh, this is gonna take me forever. So you don't have to fight against those beast monokumas if you find the singing kid. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. We'd win though. Let me hold that, let me hold that. Not here on the They're all over the place. It's safer see, just to look for the hidden brat. Hey, I'm moving. Hey, I'm moving. Hey, I'm moving. So right now they're all up and they're gonna have their backs turned, but let's see if I can find the door. Alright, so I gotta go in this way and go around. Cause they can't see nothing. And yeah, they just going up and down. So yeah. so we don't get caught.
an idiot. Wait, we gotta fight them all now? Well, I tried. Let me get my coin though. Let me get my coin though. Let me get my coin though. Boy, they are just throwing the bull at me. Oh man, we ain't got time to read this. Oh? Which reminds me. Hey Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? I don't think ghosts need to operate in the dark, but alright. Are you serious? There's no way I believe in ghosts and that paranormal stuff. I may be liberal arts to the core, but I am ill. But I am capable of thinking logically. Then... Why are you afraid of the dark? Oh, now we want to hear the story. Are you sure... Gouging at me. I think that's what it is. Gouging? You an idiot? Gouging at my brain to force me to remember my trauma. It's called being inquisitive. You wanted to tell the story earlier, remember? The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because an experience I had. Locked up in a dark place. Ah. And because of that, if not for that, you wouldn't be so annoying. <laughs> Oh, you did something bad, so you got locked inside the closet. Damn. That happened to me as a kid, too. It's so narrow and dark, it's really scary, huh? Don't mess with me! This is me we're talking about. My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. That's why you were so skinny. Huh? For three days? This is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, my mind connects dark and trauma subconsciously. Ugh. Just thinking about it now is giving me goosebumps. Um. Why were you locked up? And who did that to you? You. Ugh. Remembering it is just. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Let's see if we can sit back and bomb some rappers. Ah! Or we could just sneak by. Ooh. Ha! Ha ha! Ah! Now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. Being trapped in that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. After that, we we really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't. If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. No, he can't! But what about me? Is it okay that I'm in danger? We have the Blicky! I'm just a regular girl! Oh my god! I speak or anything! I'm getting strong Vegeta vibes. And not in a good way. 
You're not dealing with the average Saiyan anymore, Frieza. Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Toko, what you said earlier... You weren't serious, were you? Killing you? No, she loves you. What do you mean? You said you were gonna kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friends? Anybody thinking like Toko can't be trusted, bro. What? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But that's horrible. But not surprising. I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. Huh? This is that damn bear and again, then isn't Hendrix it? himself came to my live concert three times! In my dreams, anyway. What the hell is that? What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! <laughs> but when you leave, I'll be talking again. <laughs> hey, by the way! <laughs> Me party with a pool of blood and hell gonna start? What the fuck? This is gonna be a once in a century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. What the? <coughs> I don't know what the hell happened during that transition, but damn. <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura! <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre! What an awesome word! It's downright magical! Sakura, this man is- It has a great ring to it! A beat to it! The beatbox beating on my heart! <coughs> this is Notorious Bear. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like... Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! Or maybe I just have to win you over! Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? Well, she'd die anyway, cause the kid's a killer. Jeez, that's ejecting into my witty banter! You high bastard! My bad? Damn! I'm just pointing out a simple obvious flaw. In your strat, sir. Horrific idiot! <laughs> That's a bit uncalled for. Never mind, just be quiet. Damn. I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. Damn. He may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. <laughs> I can't take it no more, bro. We already have great ideas for hurting the adults. So we can get rid of him if we want. We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections. If Monica is fine with it, so am I. You gotta be. You're the president now. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the resistance? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. How the hell did you like find ants that? Ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Sheesh! Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! 
If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. But instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? This is a job to her. You promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. She didn't even die to adults. She killed herself. Woo woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool. There's no way I can lose now. I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons. <laughs> even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up. Right? You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Did he just defy Monica? Whoa! Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown! Whoa! He's talking reckless! What? I didn't mean like grown like in the adult way, you guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. Whew, that was a close one. Damn close. Hey, why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. I mean... You almost, you almost slipped, <laughs> but you a black bear, I guess it's Didn't cool. Didn't you hear her say? You guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much. But talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Understandable. Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! <laughs> no! <laughs> seriously! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? Yeah, no mind games with a mindless bear, huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. <laughs> oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read mine. Why the hell was that, like, yellow? Don't wanna say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goku and I sent it. Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. And here we go! Hey, hey, hey! Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! I was running an errand for a Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Sweet chestnuts? Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? Chestnuts. This is downright nuts! Chestnuts. I asked for peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history, and I'll kill you. Yeah, he mentioned your career. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. You can threaten Nagito. Is that, is that your name? Nagito, right. I almost called you Nagisa. Can't do that with Monica. Yes, I have no choice. I'll forgive you. You wouldn't get your chestnuts either way. No! See? Take this! Take this! You Where? servants deserve to end up like this! Oh, 
<laughs> good, good. Go for it. Ah, this is troubling. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. Pause. You're still here. Hey, where are you going? It has nothing to do with you. You about to kill me? <laughs> Deuces. Let me know when your other half is ready to go to work, though. Nothing to do with me? You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Are you serious? Toko. Look, I know you ain't all there, but clearly you ain't been watching this entire game. It's all been me. And genocide. You ain't did shit. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? Are you finally going to acknowledge that you just dropped two bosses? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been no, she hasn't. too, you know? That is true. You have. You put in that You put in that work. You know what I'm saying? Talking to put some respect on your name. You need to add the K to your name. Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! Yeah, well, like, who the hell? You see, projecting! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? About not trying to kill me for Master Kuya. Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. <coughs> Kuya! And that's why you don't have any friends! <laughs> Get on her ass! <laughs> Yes! Get on her ass! What? Oh! Oh! You heard what she said? Yeah, that, now feel that shame. Feel that shame. Go chase out of them dusty ass clothes. Tie that hair up. And send genocide out here to work. I'm tired of you. Leave me alone. I. I like being by myself. Probably locked up in the dark somewhere. Yeah, probably. Probably. Look like. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. You might, because you ain't got the blicky. Someone like me? Meaning what? She ain't got the blicky, Komaru. Let's go. Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. <laughs> Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. Such as? Like, the amount of disrespect. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? That does get annoying, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. You are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him, either. And just like her brother, both have saved your ass. Numerous times. Toko, Skipper, whatever the hell outfit that is, you need to chill out. You need to go get them glasses reframed or some shit because obviously you're not seeing what's really going on here. You don't see reality. Like, you can stay your ass here in Candyland, bro. We need to go. Yeah, let's go, Kamaru. We got this. Fine. Yeah. What, 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 what are you crying for? What? Are you, come on, man. Yeah, wipe your eyes. We don't need her. Where are you going? Stay put. Don't worry about to it. find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. Yep. Don't follow me. You don't have to come with me. Exactly, bro. Bye. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Ugh. <sighs> I'm not about to call Future Foundation. You even took away the tower thing. It don't matter. It doesn't make any sense at all. It don't. And she's still gonna follow me, bro. I. Mm. Hold up, we gotta save around here, bro. I don't know what the hell Toko on is. She tweaking, but. That's gonna have to wait until next. We got 69 bullets. Hmm. Right? Anyway, 
that's gonna do it for this episode, man. This is this game getting on my nerves now. I was in a good mood, damn it. <laughs> oh boy. But I guess we go see what happens with them. Now. I guess. <laughs> Till next time, man. Peace!